Hey guys, I got a package in the mail today and I wanted to share it with you. I have not opened it, though I've been very excited. I actually got it in the mail two, two days ago, but I have not opened it because I want to open it with you. Uh, this is all the finds that I found when I was in England back in February with uh, the Dirty Dozen. Now, the Dirty Dozen, we, that's what we called ourselves because there was 12 of us. And 10 of us at the time were YouTubers. Now 11 of us are YouTubers. And I'll put a list of all the YouTubers here. And you can go check out their videos as well on their channel. But on my channel, it was called The Dirty Dozen. I think there was three videos. I'll put a link in the description and, and a card up here that you can look at them. And, uh, and go check that out. So you'll see me dig these things live. So I don't know if they kept anything or did they give me everything. I'm not real certain about that. And so we're going to find out together. And uh, so we'll just do this. On the back here, there is a, I think it's my export papers. When you dig in England, you have to have an export license. You have to pay for all of that. And uh, I have not, you're, you're looking at it with me for the first time. And uh, the European Union. And uh, so hopefully it tells me what everything might be on here. I really don't know. We'll look at this a little bit later on. Yeah, here's all the different things here. Metal detecting fines uh, for export in March. You can see my silver coins and he got it all laid out right there. And this is very, very nice right down here. It's a 1918 George the Fourth milled and uh, he listed all them things out for us. That is really nice. And here's all my greenies. Then I had a lot of greenies. I was the greenie king. We gave awards away at our at our uh, event and uh, some different other buckles and things like that. Uh, lots of buttons. Only Plugmaster Ford beat me in the buttons by I think about 10 or 15 of them he beat me by. We dug a lot of buttons and uh, I think that's going to be it. So no, there's some more in the back. There's some of my my bullets that I have found, some different uh, different things here. Uh, this is really neat that they labeled them out for me. That way when I go through all these in a minute, I can share them with you. So let's just uh, set this to the side. And uh, let's get into the, uh, to the package itself. How about that? It's taped up very good. It cost me about... 36 pounds, I think it's about $42 that it cost me to, uh, to get this ship. A lot of guys just hang on to it and they go back. We're gonna go back in, I think, try to go back in October of 2021. And uh, this, yeah, this is the same package that I put it in when I was there. So it's gonna be probably a little bit filthy. So let's, uh, I may just speed this up on the video for you. When you're over there, you have to bag everything every day and label it. <clears throat> he comes through, the, the tour guy comes through and looks at it. And uh, so, yeah, some neat stuff here. So get, let me get all this laid out, and uh, we'll do a little fast forward through this, and then we will uh, go over it together, and I'll show you what I got. Okay, I think I got it all laid out. I think you can see it all right there. <clears throat> As you can see, there's a lot of uh, different things that I have found. Up here are all the different buttons that I have found. You'll find a lot of those while you're digging in England. Some more modern than others. Some are very old from the 16, 1700s, some horse tack and everything else. Um, uh, that's one of the most common things you can find. The second most common thing that you'll find in England are the greenies. Some of these are modern, you know, 1800s, 1900s. Uh, some of them date back, way on back, but they're so they're so wiped, you can't really get a lot off of them. Uh, that's a KG2 right there. The lot of KG2, KG3, uh, more of the early 1900s. Here's one that's hold. Uh, there may be a King William in there, uh, Queen Elizabeth, uh, Victoria. Uh, 
some other ones in there. Uh, you'll find a whole lot of these. And actually, you know, I, I never understood in England why people would find stuff in the 1600s. They would just throw it back. And once you get over to England, you start digging these things. This in England is like the stinking Lincoln in America. Even though as American in England, I love digging these because I never dig stuff that old. But you'll dig these 16, 1700 coppers left and right. Just uh, almost everything that you dig is like a penny. It is a penny. Uh, some half pennies, some pennies. But uh, there's a Queen Victoria. And uh, here's some more different little decorative stuff. Some uh, You'll dig a lot of lead. And, uh, and you never know what you have. These bell seals, these uh, lead tokens, uh, you never know what you get. So you want to keep it all. You know, I, I, I kept this. And that's a, I'll talk about that in just a second. But some different uh, buckles and different things like that. Very nice. But here are the great finds right here. These are all my, my silvers. And, uh, and they're kind of, I put them in order. Kind of. This is a, uh, a 1918 George V. It's a silver florin. It's a beautiful coin. Check that out. Beautiful coin. And um, when I dug that, boy, it blew my ears off. And I uh, found that out in a big old field. And it's just the details on it. It's just unbelievable. I love digging these coins right here. Uh, another coin that I dug here is this 1909 Edward VII. This is a milled sixpence. You'll tend to find a lot of these out there too. And uh, England just has beautiful coins. And I just love digging these silvers. And uh, we uh, then we have a 1858. This 1858 Queen Victoria. Uh, you'll dig a lot of Queen Vicky, we call her. Queen Vicky. That's a good coin as well. And um, and so this thing that I was telling you about right here, this, uh, this is a Victorian spindle top, spinning top. This was a, a toy uh, back in the uh, Victorian age. So that was a really neat thing right here. And um, the... Uh, the other coins that I have here is a, uh, this is an 1805, it's a German one shilling. It's called a Courant, it's a milled silver coin, so it's not hammered. These, none of these first coins I'm showing you are hammered. And uh, maybe you can see it right there a little bit. But uh, I'll get some pictures of these later in my light box and do some close-ups. This was actually the first silver coin that I had found when I was in uh, uh, England on this second trip. And I, I dug one of these on the uh, other trip that I went to back in, in November. And this is a 1600 Elizabeth I hammered sixpence. Uh, it's got an old mint mark. It's the sixth issue. And so that's a that's the way it looks like on the back. And that's what you're going for when you go to England. You're looking for hammies, they call them, hammered coins. And this is about the size of a quarter. It's real thin. You see on the back side, if I can find her, you can't really see on this one. Maybe you can see, you can see Queen Elizabeth's head there. She's looking off to the left. and uh, But that was a good find right there. My other one that I found last trip, which I haven't received those back yet, where I found that historic Saxon hoard coins, uh, th there, those may take a couple of years to get back. Uh, I dug these. I think 1580 was the oldest one I got of these. And uh, then I was really kind of disappointed because I really wasn't finding a lot of silver. And you can see this is all the silver that I found on this trip and this was a, a full seven day trip and I just, we, we searched and searched and searched. You can see I found tons of greenies, tons of uh, other types of relics and leads and tons of buttons, but not many silvers. Not any, a lot of people on this trip didn't get silvers, but we did get a few guys got gold coins, got two gold coins. One guy got two gold coins and two other guys got two a, a gold coin apiece from uh, BC. And one beautiful gold coin, a Missouri Mike got the best looking gold coin of them all. But this here would be on the last day. I have only gotten one hammer this whole trip. And I got this on the second day. And the whole trip, I, I was looking for an old hammer. Old hammer. I just could not find an old hammer. And, uh, and so on the last day of the last trip, uh, I mean the last day in the last dig, I got this hammered right here. 
And boy, he cleaned it up for me. That's what I like about Chris Mettner. He cleans all these coins for you, and you can really get a lot of details, and he logs all this for you. But this right here is a, uh, this is a medieval hammered silver groat, and it's from the Canterbury Mint. And I, if I'm not mistaken, I may, I may be wrong. If I'm wrong, my UK fans, let me know. Uh, I think this is 1300s. I'm thinking this may be the 1300s. This is going to be my oldest one here. Uh, he, uh, it's not, he doesn't list out exactly what it is other than just a medieval hammered silver groat, half groat. And, uh, but that's my oldest coin out of all of them, and I loved it. I mean, it was cold, it was windy, it was the last day, it was the last dig, and it was in the last hour of the last minute that we were walking out of the field. And the field had already been hunted by several others that day, and I, I, I got that one. That was so good. You can see it on the video. And it was such a great, great find. And so... Uh, a lot of different greenies there. I'm not going to go through all the greenies for you. Um, some more pieces that we can look at is right here. This is a decorated copper trim uh, that I thought was really, really, really neat. And uh, uh, some more things that I think you, you did common stuff like this, but you don't know what it is. This is actually a uh, mid post medieval spindle whorl, they call it. This is what goes on when they're spending the yarn, I guess, to, uh, something like that. A lot of flat bullets, round, I mean, round balls, things of that nature. And um, a lot of uh, uh, bell seals and things like that. Musket balls. These are all round balls. These are all musket balls. These are going to be muskets, not rifled. And uh, so that's really neat. And uh, I got a Gregorian key. Escuchian, however you say that. That's a kind of a hard word to say for me, but that's this thing right here. And uh, that's a neat, neat little find as well. Of course, you're going to get your D-buckles. Uh, you're going to get that. That's 20th century. Nothing big on that one. And uh, in this piece right here, this is a Gregorian, uh, a, a Georgian draw pullback plate is what that be, a drawer. Uh, I guess it comes off a drawer handle or something like that. And more buckles, different things that are just really unidentifiable. A lot of horse tack. Uh, you definitely get find your fair share of the watch key finders. And believe it or not, you even get some modern day dog tags. How about that? That's Sadie. I wonder how old Sadie is. A lot of the coppers over here are going to be from the 11th to the 18th to the 20th century. So there's some old coppers in here, and I have to go back in, and they're just they're just so slick. And usually your old coppers are going to be the one that are just completely wiped thin, and uh, you can't really get much details off of them. And uh, this thing right here I dug, and I really didn't know what it really was, but it's a Victorian Butler Bell Swivel Arm. And so that's why you keep everything. You just don't know what any of this stuff is, and you just keep everything you find. And that's a really neat find, too. Um, this buckle right here, I kept because it was ornate and kind of a neat-looking buckle on it. And this dates back from the 15 to 1650. Look at that. That's neat, isn't it? And so you keep everything and uh, that, you, that you find. Because it all is old, some of it's modern, but most of it's going to be old in England. And uh, it's just beautiful. I love going to England, looking back. But I, I wish I could find some of the older uh, uh, flat coins, I mean, uh, green greenies there. But uh, they definitely are, are good things to dig. I like digging them because it kind of keeps you from swinging a lot. slows you down to start doing some digging. Uh, all these buttons uh, are going to be uh, post-Tudor buttons, they call them, uh, the Tudor age uh, and stuff, and uh, some tack. Let's see if I can find this watch key. Uh, this is a, Greg, uh, a uh, Georgian watch key finders, and a um, number, let's see, I'm looking on my list here, and I have another coin, there it is right here, I lost it. This... Right here, I thought it was just a piece of a flat button. And actually, it comes out being a Charles I hammered copper rose farthing from 1634. And so that's going to be, I think, uh, one of my better coppers. It's very small. You can see by my little finger or my index finger how small that really is. 
but uh, it's a good find nonetheless. And uh, so uh, some other things here that I found. Let's see, I, found, I saw it a while ago. Maybe this is it right here. Yeah, number. Uh, this is a. I don't know what that is. Let me look on the list. Yeah, he doesn't have that one marked down on the list, so I don't really know what that one is. And, uh, and some of these uh, these things here are going to be some different uh, nails uh, here that date way back. And so I kept a few of them because I just wanted to, to see them. And, um, and so uh, this was an interesting, I found a couple of these. These are the uh, drawer pulls off of drawers and they're going to all date back to the uh, Victorian age and uh, the, well the small one the big one dates back to uh, Victorian and the uh, the other one dates back to Georgian and so it's a little bit older but neat stuff just really neat stuff and uh, I think that's going to be about it uh, Everybody was digging uh, lead tokens, and I wasn't getting a lead token. And I was really upset that I wasn't getting a, getting a lead token, but I actually did get one. See, that's why, again, you keep everything. And I didn't know I got this until I got this. So I looked at it just right now. He's got it marked down at number 15 on my list. This is a 17th century lead token. So this is 1600s uh, or 1800s um, lead token here. So that's that's good. I'm, I, I'm glad I did get one. Some of this does have writing on it. These are bell seals and uh, different things. I think this one right here is a post-medieval bell seal. And uh, this one here, they're both going to be post-medieval bell seals. And uh, I don't even know what that was. That was I was just completely, I thought it was a coin, but it's too light to be a coin. But... Uh, well, anyway, that is my finds. I hope you enjoyed my video and uh, seeing some of the things that I dug in England. And uh, I'm going to take some light box picture of, of all this where you can get a close up on it all. And I've got a special case I'm going to order and put all my England finds in. So uh, looking to go back with the Dirty Dozen 2 one more time in October or the fall of 2021. And I'm actually trying to do another trip that's going to be in the spring of uh on when I went to the, my first trip to England, to the border of Wales and England side. So I'm trying to do a trip over there as well, if COVID regulations, travel regulations will loosen up and we can do it. I did get a few buttons. I don't see them in here. And I believe they can, uh, this, this button here was a Union Jack. It was an unidentified button. And uh, there were some in here. It was a livery button with a swan on it. They may have kept that one. Uh, no, there it is right there. I'll get some pictures of my better buttons, too, and show that to you. But anyway, it was good to get one that was an unidentified button. And I also got a Royal Navy uh, button uh, as well. It's in here somewhere with a big anchor on it, which was a good find. So I'll get you some close-ups of those pictures in a little bit. Uh, so, all right. Thanks for watching. And uh, as I always say, the greatest treasure is not what you can go dig in England, my friend. The greatest treasure is what you can find up in heaven. Keep searching. Keep looking up until we meet again. I just want to say happy hunting and God bless.